bad if you get the red gore into the deeper parts of the model again because we're going to do that so many times over and over and over. So just stay relaxed, stay focused and try to thin down those extreme highlights you've painted on. Add in, add in some of the other, other color you used before this one. Start touching up the sides. That's about it. I'm going to do that right now. I'm in the process of painting, uh, I mean, dulling down the sharp highlights. Just thinking you might want to watch how I do this. So I painted around the edges, not too much, uh, because we really don't want it, uh, the color to be, be too bright. And if we don't run, and the color shouldn't be too thick because we still want to see the layer uh, beneath it. We just want a slight color difference. And voila, you're glazing. might see here on this thigh, right here, the color is way too sharp, so I'm going to go that down to glaze it a bit. That takes a while. Spread it out some more. And some more colors. What's going on is a little bit of a trick to get uh, a good color in between. You just have to you know, grab uh, the base coat, which is red gore, and the scorch brown, and start trying to uh, replicate the color you are trying uh, to paint on. So for example, I'm painting this part here, and it's really dark, I want it to be brighter. So I'm going to use pure red gore, paint it on. It's thinned down, so it should look just about like that. You can see that. Let me zoom in for you. Oh, way too much. Come on, yeah. You can see the wet part, and it's too dark for me. I can always uh, use blood red again, but I think scorched brown is way too powerful there. So I'm going to add some more red gore. And it's just trying out and getting that feel and uh, getting that nice transition between layers. Keep on trying. It is. If you're using thin layers long enough, the color will eventually change become uh, slightly more powerful, it's the power of glazing. Just keep repeating steps. And if you think your miniature looks like crap, which I think it does right now, keep on painting because it is supposed to look like that before you can go and improve it. You first have to get past this messy part Check out my Gales Black. It's right over there. It's almost like an ink. I need some more. It look better. There we go. See how it's pulling back itself? That's exactly what you need for this kind of work. Put most of your of the Gales Black off your brush. You might even want to add a little more 
water to it. Grab your miniature again and start painting. Well, not really painting, but just dabbing around on the model with your pure black. This is really for. Shit. I messed up. This is for the extreme highlights. This is really going to uh, be an eye catcher for your image. Once you've done this, you can go over it again later. Again with the thin down, dark flesh, or a mix, dark flesh, and, uh, red gore or gales black, whatever you like. Whatever you need to get a smooth transition. Because in the end, oh, that's all that matters. You know? No, 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 no. 